So technically, I guess that would be a day mare. But I digress. It was lunchtime and I was making my usual deliveries around town. I always say the best stuff for last. To see my dear old friends at the Flickery Embers home for seniors. A happier group of folks you'd never hope to meet. A perfect example of how to grow old with grace and dignity. Does this look like a rash to you? Has anybody seen my teeth? Oh, my aching knee. Uh, I sure wish there was some way to stop getting old. If only they could put youth in a bottle. Oh, I'd pay anything for that. Again with a youth potion. How many times do I have to tell you? There's no such thing. But if there were. But there's not. I said if. If, man. <laughs> okay, you two lovebirds. I don't have any youth potion. But I did bring you lunch. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Rudy, give me some steak. What's shaking, you, fella? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Brought your favorite the puree of mystery meat. Oh. Now that's a lunch I can sink my teeth into. And to compliment your meal, prune juice. Oh. Drink up, everyone. Liquid gold. <laughs> oh, how can you drink that stuff? Kronk says it's good for us. Good enough for me. Fill her up, Kronk. Well, I guess that's everything. Aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> No, that's not it. Here you go, pal. From all of us. No, oh, no, Rudy. I could We insist. It's for your house fund. You know, so you can afford that big house on the hill your father always wanted you to have. Oh, uh, yeah. And then I could finally get the big thumbs up from Poppy. Yeah. How's that going? Oh, I'll get there. Someday. <laughs> How about some fresh bell bug tomorrow? I'll see y'all later. Oh, my. Uh, somebody lose this? Anybody? That's weird. Whoa! <laughs> Picky toe! Oh. Hey. Little did I know my life was about to be changed forever. If only there'd been some kind of warning. A sign. <laughs> Anything. Oh, you're a feisty one. <laughs> Hold still now. Oh. Huh? <laughs> hmm. uh. All right. Where'd you go, you little rascal? Looking for... <laughs> Hello, Kronk. Isma! What are you doing here? I live here, ever since I was thrown out of the palace. Ah, huh, weird. Never seen you around. Ah, oh, but I've seen you, Kronk. Oh, you look good. You think? Well, at least you're not a cat anymore. Except for that. Yes, an unfortunate side effect of our last uh, escapade together. Yeah, good times. <laughs> when you drink that potion, turns you into a cat. Who'd have thought, huh? <laughs> Hey, it was a pink one, just like this. Don't touch the pink one! It's, it's cough medicine. Well, hope you get to feeling better. I'd love to stay and reminisce, but... I've been watching you, Kronk. Yeah. Oh, oh. And I have a proposition for you. <sighs> a business proposition. Oh, whoa! You see, Kronk, I'm not the person I once was. I've changed. I've turned myself around and devoted myself to uh, uh, helping others. <laughs> oh, well, that's uh, some turnaround. I want to help those old geese, I mean, your friends out there. Wouldn't you do anything to ease their suffering, Kronk? Of course I would, Isma. Good. Then follow me. Pull the lever! This lever? Eh, I worked out the bugs. Just check it. <laughs> we need for it. Photo? Oh, rats, my eyes are closed. Follow me. Whoa. Looks like someone's been busy. I've finally done it, Crook. 
I've created the elixir of life. The answer to everyone's prayers. Behold, the fountain of youth in a bottle. Regular and diet. Ah, pretty color stuff. Isma's young and beautiful. <laughs> Catchy. And now that you're here, I finally have the one person who can make my plan a success. And that person would be... You. Me. I knew that. <laughs> Wait, why me? Because I'm not exactly what you call a, a people person. And everyone trusts you. Those old people will buy anything you tell them to. So you want me to sell this to them? What do you say, Krunk? Help me to help you to help them? But I can't take money from those old folks. It wouldn't be right. Oh, <laughs> too bad. Now I guess you'll never get that great big house on a hill. And the big thumbs up from Poppy. Poppy! Bingo! <laughs> he wants to come on up to your house. Have some supper. What will you serve it on, Krunk? <laughs> Plastic tupper. You don't even own a fixer upper. Help me to help you to help him. Help you to help me to help me. I need gold, Crump. <laughs> I mean, you need gold. So sign your name on this line. Avoid disaster. You'll achieve a true and beautiful connection with your father. Just faster. Win Poppy's love with that I love faster. Help me to help you to help him. And then you'll hear him say, hey, 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 a milky, a milky way. I'm loving this lovely day. And I feel a chameleon rousey bow. This cat is back and how. I'm taking my big time bow when I feel like a million. A million, a million, a million. Uh, Here you go. Hey, Crunk, does this stuff really work? <laughs> hey, does this stuff really work? Of course it does, you idiot. Well, of course it does, you idiot. <gasps> Good enough for me. Drink up, everyone. Liquid gold. <laughs> Ooh, look at my range of motion. My elbow doesn't creak. I'm melting away the pot. Hair! I've got hair! My golly, this stuff really works! Crazier? Cuckoo! You see what's going on here, don't you, folks? Here's a hint. You got a little sewage line, a little fancy packaging, crazy laugh like a demon from the bowels of the earth. It's a scam! Her potion's a fake! She's selling snake oil, people! Wake up! Oh, you saw it already, huh? Well, smarty, I bet you didn't see this! Oh, yikes! That's gonna haunt me in my nightmares. Can we just move on, please? Guy in the booth. Now, 